What is up dudes, NYKia31 here. NCAA 14 online friends list action. I'm rolling with the Nebraska Cornhuskers taking on Fighting Hokie and his Virginia Tech one. Hokies. And once again, I'm rolling around with this coordinator cam. There's something about this camera that just sucks me in. It just draws me in and does not let go. I keep coming back to it. But as we start out here, as you saw on the uh, pregame menu, oh, good defense there. I'm playing 4-3. I'm not playing 3-3-5 stack with Nebraska in this game. I've since upgraded to downloading a uh, roster with the player names. But... I'm playing 4-3, and I'm also rolling with a custom Rich Rodriguez red playbook. I have um, several real-life playbooks on my computer. Just being the junkie that I am, or have been over the years, you can see Team Magic bust up the seams there. But I have several real-life playbooks that I've collected, and Rich Rodriguez's early version of his spread option is one of them, the 2001 West Virginia playbook. And what I basically did was clone it. I've got all the formations here exact, to the T. And so the custom playbooks that I create every year are my run and shoot custom playbook, my spread slash air raid custom playbook, and this one. This one I use for fun. I'll probably use it for online rank this year when I play online rank and I use it for friends this game. They also have um, Urban Meyer's 2004 Utah spread playbook, which I'm going to create as well. Those are the four custom playbooks that I'll create. And I really wish this game had a way for us to share our custom playbooks for you guys to download. Instead, I'm either going to have to post it on ncaaplaybooks.com, which is something of a community effort, or just do a video just going through the playbook, every formation and every play, just so you guys can get a look at what's in it if you wanted to copy it or try it out for yourselves. But, you know, here we are in a tight game, 10-7 at the half. And this is why I like... On the, on the swing down. pass, you have a play action swing pass. This camera angle, you can really see He's look at this beautiful field. alley here that you can see and, and read and burst through. And you can see those um, plays develop in the passing game with the wide side as well. And Nebraska's offensive line is no Touchdown, joke. Nebraska. They can really get it done. High 80s and low 90s in their run blocking department. We gang up on Logan here as. Vatek has some work to do, but he sends that halfback down the seam versus the cover two, and that's the downside to this camera angle for me, is that I have a much harder time gauging distance when I'm breaking on the ball than on the default camera angle. Sometimes I either overrun or underrun and, you know, press triangle too soon. Logan says Team Magic isn't the only one who do some damage. Throws it in a hurry. So and I'm back on offense down. here. Right we get shoe stringed. That happens a little bit too much, but you know, that's a relatively minor a thing in the lead. grand scheme of things. And here we're going to just pick up the tempo here. I don't go spread no huddle the entire game. It's just, you know, not the way I personally like to operate because I find I make too many mistakes and I get into a predictable rhythm with my play calling or a more predictable nice rhythm. So I'll change it up. I'll start the game out one tempo and just switch to conventional huddle or start out with conventional huddle and switch to a no huddle for a bit. Maybe crank up the um, tempo to aggressive in the game plan settings. Like after a big play or something like that, I'll crank up the uh, game plan setting to aggressive or after a turnover. And just kind of, He's tackled the four and you know, one. just to kind of vary up the looks. Nice floater over there, nice touch pass. So I'm on the march here again. And look at that block by Lyman on the screen. He detonates one dude and then continues upfield to get another guy. And I get in shortly thereafter. 
Uh, West Virginia has got some serious work to do now. Down two possessions. I'm trying to um, make him work for it. Use that clock. I'm playing some cover one robber here. Very hard to stay at a too high safety look with regularity. Unless it's a must pass situation with the um, improved running game. So I tend to play a lot more cover one and showing eight in the box from here. That's my fault there. That was my man. The man I was controlling, that was his man, but I just didn't see it. Or I saw it, but I just didn't do anything about it. Another great pass by Taylor Martinez. Taylor Martinez doing it both on the ground and in the air. And there I did too much. If I kept on going, a great alley there opened, but I cut inside. If I kept on going, I would have scored. Good defense there on the speed option. Good job there by him. So I have to settle for three. And that he gives him a chance to win the game with a touchdown with some out. time on the clock. Under a minute left. Quick pass. He likes that halfback down the seam. So I switch up my tendencies here. I go to a cover three uh, double buzz. And that seals the deal. So had to make an adjustment there. I make the right adjustment. It pays off. And I pull this sucker out. Taylor Martinez. Great passing game. One in completion, and I think that was a pass I threw away. And he did some damage on the ground. I got name rosters now. This game was played before I downloaded and uploaded it. So, you're going to be seeing some numbers for a little while longer. And here are some stats. Decent defensive game. Defense certainly sealed the deal for me. Even I, even my special team players will get some love. The punters and the kickers will get their stats shown. So that's that for this game. More stuff coming. 335 stat breakdown. Air raid and run and shoot. Take care.